This is Ami Granada's question in relation to my book, Ione, A Sea Witch's Tale. What is your inspiration in writing Ione? A sea witch is very interesting. Reminds me of the poem Love Song of Alfred Prufrock by T.S. Eliot. Yes, Ami, a sea witch is indeed interesting. But while the mermaids in the love song of Alfred Prufrock by T.S. Eliot symbolize the allure of an ideal, dreamlike existence, Iona's story tells how a good person can go bad and what events led her to her breaking point. Actually, Ione is an afterthought. I wrote Aquas Venia, the trident of power first, before I thought of Ione. So you could say that Aquasvenia inspired me to write Ione. Aquasvenia is set in an underwater fantasy world much like Aquaman. It seemed natural that such a world would have a sea witch in it. And I'm really glad I wrote Ione. Ione provided an additional depth to the original plot of Aquasvenia, the Water Kingdom trilogy. When I started to write Ione, I did a lot of research, like I always do on every story I write. The name Ione is a girl's name of Greek origin meaning violet flower. Ione is also known as one of the 50 sea nymphs in Greek mythology, all daughters of the water god Nereus and the oceanid Doris. But in my book, my Ione gets her own story with a unique twist and a tragic love angle. In my story, Ione was a timid, gullible, underwater maiden born into the family of the creepers of the crocus, a magical plant. Her mother was cruel to her and her family practically ignored her. So when she fell in love, she fell hard, and she fell badly. This part of her life was the catalyst which will turn her around for the worse. And because of her, Akosvenya will never be the same again. I hope I've answered your question, Ami. You can still send in your questions in the comment section. I'd love to answer them.